Star Wars Rebels Season 4, Episode 8, Crawler Commanders. So guys, I just got done reacting to the Kindred episode, which was a really good episode because Rook was a badass, Kanan and Hera finally kissed Tenera, and the whole thing with the Loath Wolves. Now, that was some really interesting stuff. Um, and I wonder if we're, if we're, if we're gonna ever see the Loath Wolves again in this season. I really hope we do, because I find them to be really interesting creatures. And they are, they are creatures that I would like to see more of, probably. Definitely. Um, but yeah, that was a good episode. And now we got Crawler Commanders. Um, sounds interesting. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's react to... Roller Commanders. Here we go. This transmitter is all we could scrounge up. What do you think? Well, I can boost the tower, but not enough to overcome the Empire's jamming signal. They're blocking all non-Imperial transmissions. We have to find a way to make contact with Hera. If she made it past the blockade. She made it, and she'll convince Rebel Command to launch an attack. We need to be ready to help. Help? Look, I want to fight, but the Empire's got thousands of troops. We are hiding in a cave, with no ships, no supplies, and a couple of blasters. We've done a lot more with a lot less. There's a way, and we'll find it. What now? We can't make contact outside the planet, but I'm picking up something transmitting nearby. How close? Close to the grass signs up north. Yeah, they strip break the surface for. Oh wait a minute! Isn't isn't that isn't that the same kind of ship that Maul and Savage used in the Clone here. Wars? That's halfway across. The like planet. when when Maul yeah. reappeared. But that ship might be just. I think it might be actually. Can't really tell. You might be more right than you know, Zeb. That crawler is equipped with a long range communications array. One that can reach Hera. I'm almost sure of it. Uh oh. Yavin. Based upon data provided by Captain Sindula, the Thai Defender Elite possesses speed, weapons, and shields superior to any fighter in our fleet. Can we destroy it? In single ship to ship combat, unlikely. Our analysts have yet to find a weakness in its design. If we can't find a way to fight this thing, it's imperative we prevent it from being mass produced. I request permission to lead an attack squadron back to Lothal to destroy that factory. Considering the Empire's defenses and our limited attack capability, I'm not sure now is the right time. We can't afford to wait. I have a group standing by on the ground ready to aid any mission. What about the blockade and Admiral Thrawn? Your evidence is persuasive, Captain, but we'll need time to discuss further action. Perhaps it's best you wait outside. Whoa. Sabine, you're up. I've got movement. Yep, mining guild security droid. Oh, headshot. <laughs> Hello there. Pirate scum. Aw, oh, damn it. Yeah, that's the same ship that Maul and Savage used in the Claw Wars. Sabine, shut off that alarm. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> Stick around, Captain. Do you have any idea who you're messing with? The mining guild, we know. Oh wait a minute! Isn't he the same species as the same species as as um Bosk? Because they kind of look a little similar, so I think he's the same um race as Bosk. Ezra, this one's all you. I guess. Sorry, the crawler has malfunctions. 
Um. Is that what I sound like? Yeah. Is this operator 94-34? You sound different. Uh, I'm sick. Pirates. <laughs> Rubber 413-24, repeat. Sorry. Engine flare. Part of the malfunction. We're fixing it. Uh, he's kind of failing. Liars. We are sending a technical crew over to assist. Stand by. Uh, negative. Control. We can make repairs ourselves. No, he's he's failing. Please copy. Over. He's failing. That could have gone better. I mean, you... You nailed it at first, but then you just lost it. Let's get to work. We don't have much. Scum. Yeah, I suck it. There's a signal coming from the rear section of the crawler. Zeb and I'll check it out. As soon as Sabine gets that comm working, contact Hera and watch him. Finally, my friends. Visago. Visago? I told the others how the Empire banished me to this monstrosity for helping you rebels. But I knew you would not leave me here to rot. <laughs> right. Visago. Right. <laughs> I told them the foreman would be no match for a Jedi. Or oh, light whips. Right. Oh, damn. Drop the whip and step away from my friend, you knuckle brain lizard. Oh. Yeah, this reminds me of the slave arc in the Clone Wars. Get him, Zeb. Come on. Kick his ass. Yeah, definitely not. I mean, Zeb. Haha, <laughs> yes. Fuck him up, Zeb. Come on. Oh, come on, Zeb. Oh. Right in the fucking head. No, 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 no. Come on, Zeb. <laughs> Throw his ass. What? Come on. I'm coming, Sam. Hang on! Oh shit, the light whip. Come on, Zeb, hold on, hold on. Oh. Goodbye. Damn it. Just drop him. Oh. Well, good riddance to you, buddy. You're really, really heavy. No kidding. Still no decision. They don't trust me. It isn't that. The TIE Defender isn't our only problem. The Empire has some new plan, as evidenced by Protocol 13. Never heard of it. It is the immediate evacuation of all Imperial personnel from an occupied planet. An order like that should only confirm our worst fears. And we're too afraid to do anything about it. Hmm. Captain Sindula, this is a closed-door count. Senator, if I may... I know the odds are against this attack success, but if that fighter goes into production, our squadrons will not stand a chance. I believe it's a risk worth taking, and whether we fail or succeed, at least our actions will show the Empire and the galaxy that we will not stand down, that we will not be broken by fear, that we are strong, united by our courage. Now is our time to strike. Hey. What is this? Freedom! With Zago? Well, I don't believe it. What? Oh, 
Now I see. You did not come here to rescue me. Betrayed! Oh, I knew I should have given you up. Yeah, well, we're here now. And we are rescuing you. Guys, get up here. I've got two targets closing down. The Empire. Those aren't mining guild vehicles. No, it's the Empire. Yeah, who else would it be? Step aside, Captain. Dora, let me show you our output data logs. You're gone. Yeah. I mean, see, nothing yeah. happened. Like Almost blew your cover, Mizago. It shouldn't take longer than a couple of hours. He got loose. Yeah, luckily. Otherwise, he would have blown up. Uh, he would have compromised anything, everything. That doesn't sound good. Transmitters lost power. I told you not to mess with me. Oh God. I duped those Imperial suckers, but you won't fool the mining guild. That sneaky little lizard. How would he get a con? He's on the crawler's intercom, and he sabotaged power to the long-range transmitter. Patch me through to the Empire, or I will destroy this crawler, you pirate scum. We are not pirates. Haven't you figured that out by now? Speaking of pirates, are we ever going to see Hondo and Naka in this season? I, I, I uh, hope so, because he he's fucking awesome. Thing. Well, then we need someone capable of navigating those ventilation shafts. Oh, no, no, no. I am not going in there. It's a ventilation shaft. It's what you do. If the Zago can point. the Empire, Jedi can climb into shaft. I don't do this anymore. I'm here. Oh, he shut down the reactors, all right. Okay, to turn them back on, find the primary power console. It should be across from the furnace. Oh, he's, he's right under the bridge. And he's behind you. This is my crawler, Rebel. I work for the guild. Just as he who spawned me. And as my spawn will after me. Come on, Ezra. Dumbass. Good riddance. We made a believer out of you yet, Ryder? You're getting there, Kaden. Guys, and good timing. Rebel Command has authorized the attack. Fighters are being fueled and bombers loaded. The attack? It's happening? We're launching our assault on the next rotation. Oh, shit. The, the attack on Lothal. You can count on us. Ooh, that's a tease. Alright, that was an alright episode. I mean, it definitely wasn't as good as Kindred, in my opinion. But, this was good. But, that ending, though, that teases the attack on Lothal. And, next episode is the mid-season finale. And, it's called uh, Rebel Assault. And, it's going to be the attack on Lothal. Um, but, yeah, I, but yeah it's, it's really surprising that we're already at the mid-season finale because... They've been releasing two episodes of Rebels a week now, so now we're at the at the midpoint, like so fast. Um, but yeah, can't wait for uh, next week with the with with the attack on Lafal, and can't wait to see what happens. So yep, yeah, let's read. So uh, hey, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week for the attack on Lafal. Bye.